people have a lot of ideas of what makes an entrepreneur. Even the word in itself, if you think about it, is a bit haughty toddy. It's a bit intimidating. Most people can't even spell it. Probably I can't even spell it still. So what is an entrepreneur? In my personal experience, I have found that entrepreneurship is often driven not just by the desire to create value or generate wealth, but also from the intense need as a creative person to bring an idea to fruition. An entrepreneur is somebody that's figured out the way to get the good the product or the service to the audience by figuring out what's in the middle. I've been doing that kind of thing since I was a kid. I didn't even realize that I was an entrepreneur. I just wanted my music to touch as many people as possible. When I was a kid and I was a musician and an artist, I decided to press my own vinyl single. And we took it around to the college radio stations and they started playing it. That was taking control and figuring out creative ways of making sure that your music is seen the way that you want it to be seen, is, is finds the people that you want it to, to find, and makes the money that you need it to make to keep making it. What do you think is the biggest misperception about entrepreneurs and about people who classify themselves as that? I think the biggest myth about most founders is that they had a plan, that they knew what they were doing. People like to write history books with the benefit of hindsight of how things worked out and say, oh, he got to point X, he must have wanted to get to this promised land all along. Whereas almost every entrepreneur I come across changes courses drastically early on. And to, to paraphrase Darwin, the, only the adaptable survive. And the, this adaptability is really what makes the entrepreneurs I see special, not the single-minded focus on getting to point X, but knowing what to do next every day when you're faced with what's in front of you. For me, I think entrepreneurship really primarily stands for courage. It's sort of having that courage to either do what's right, do something better, do something different, and really to see the opportunity where most people see challenges. For me, one of the strongest notions about being an entrepreneur is not about the buzzwords and the fast company and the ink magazines and things like that, that it's fashionable and cool to be an entrepreneur. It's, it's really about, for me, it's about a level of irritation. Right? And that irritation really stems from the fact that within food particularly, I strongly believe that it needs to be done very differently. Right? And for me, that irritation got me to a point where I didn't believe that others were going to conquer the task the same way that I believed I could. And it was about really just putting together the right team uh, and the right systems in order to, to, to conquer that particular task. When I started to go into editing, which was initially from one tape deck to another, just consumer tape deck, well, that was really hard. I did this 20 minute sort of comedy video. It took me 22 hours to edit this thing. And I was like, God, this is ridiculous. And it was that moment where I said, I am not gonna edit a linear editing system ever again. And I didn't. So I started Avid, Avid makes video and audio editing systems. I think of both entrepreneurship and rock and roll as acts of defiance. It's human to rebel against what is wrong. That's what we do. The core engine of humanity is entrepreneurship. I believe the core engine of humanity is helping people. And that is at the core of any entrepreneurial endeavor. Every person has entrepreneurial abilities in them, period, everyone. Having the entrepreneurial spirit and curiosity and willingness to interact with the world as the weaver of your own destiny, of someone who wants to pull together lots of different pieces in new ways, that mindset will serve you throughout your life, whether you start a company or not. Entrepreneurship is more than just an act of starting a business, but in many ways, it's a way of relating and a way of seeing the world that mirrors very much the creative process. If you think of an entrepreneur as really not different than a songwriter giving birth to a new song, uh, or a chef creating a meal, or any other creative person bringing to fruition an idea and making it real, making it so real that other people can feel it and taste it. And that is fundamentally the job of an entrepreneur. It's about shifting people's perceptions and adjusting the world just a little bit, or to paraphrase Steve Jobs, putting your own little dent on the universe.